Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be covering Cisco Packet Tracer 6.3.3.6 titled Designing and Implementing a Variable Length Subnet Mask Addressing Scheme. A note on this is that every time you open it it'll be a little bit randomized. There's three different possible topologies and each one will have a variable amount of hosts needed for each network segment so it's constantly changing. Um, because of that I cannot do a reset on this without having to go through the entire thing again which includes all of the um, variable length subnetting and literally building from the ground up for every every single network. So I've gone through with the topology they gave me I've done my subnetting and IP addressing and have everything set up for that. Um, basically, I can't really give you a lot of advice in this video as to how you'll be subnetting your own um, scenario. You will kind of have to work through that a little bit on your own. You can use a calculator if you need it, but you should be able to work through this pretty quickly and pretty easily on your own. It might just take a few minutes. In any case, this is the t topology that I was given for this activity. I have five network segments. Um, ASW4 LAN here requires 58 hosts. ASW3 here requires 29 hosts. ASW2 requires 15 hosts. And ASW1 requires down here seven hosts. I don't know why it's way down there. It won't let me move it up. <laughs> Anyways, so there's four of the five. The fifth one is here, router to router, building one to building two. I'm not going to go through all of the subnetting I did. I'm just going to put it up here so you can see that I've figured out the correct subnets and IP addresses and gateways and everything for all of these devices. Most of it's already been configured. I just need to go in. I'll double check both of my routers. I believe ASW3 and host D are all I really needed to configure based off of my addressing table. So again, I'm not really going to go through every single step for this entire thing. Um, if you're on my Google site, I'll have a link to the document if you want to look at how I had subnetted everything out. Most of my work is on here, including all the different subnets. So The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come in and take a look at my routers. And I'm going to do a show IP interface. I did this over serial zero. And so I configured the IP address and subnet mask. Well, subnet mask is slash 30, uh, 255, 255, 255, 252 broadcast just maxed out. Um, did the same thing over here for building 2. Slightly different IP address. Instead of 145, it's 146. So those two can talk on the same network. ASW3, I came in and set up this uh, Gigabit Ethernet 01 to have an IP address and connected it to VLAN 1, actually, which had the IP address and the gateway set up. So the VLAN for this was IP address 192.168.72.66 on, it looks like a slash 27. Default gateway was 192.168.72.65 right here. That's how I set up ASW3. 65 leading back here to building 2's router interface. Then I had, all I had to do was come in and set up host D. You can't jump into the config tab, sorry. You can very easily set this up by going to the desktop tab, IP configuration. You can set it all up in here. So again, 
just built that off of my addressing table after I had completed all my subnetting. Host D right here. If I can get it to highlight properly. There we go. So using that configuration, built up host D. Um, I would recommend, if you're doing this, read all of the instructions before you try to jump into every single device, because you don't need to configure all of the devices. You usually only need to configure three, maybe four. The rest of them will already be set up for you. Um, if you have any specific questions or any comments, um, please feel free to leave them below for me. And I will go ahead and pull up the activity instructions here to show a full completion rate. You can always come in here and hit check your results. Go over to assessment items and it'll show you whatever it, you need to correct or assign to complete the activity. Alright, so hopefully I will see everybody in my next video. That's all for this one.